The completion of the first phase of the metro fiber project spanning 2,700 kilometers and the upcoming completion of the second phase covering 3,300 kilometers have been announced by the Lagos State Government. Toboson Alake, the State Commissioner for Science and Technology, made this announcement during the presentation of Governor Saulu's second term scorecard at the ongoing ministerial briefing in Alausa, Ikeja. In addition, Alake revealed that over 6 million residents have been registered by the Lagos State Residents Registration Agency, LASRA. He highlighted that the LASRA Identity Card is a versatile card that not only links to bank accounts but also provides access to BRT buses and train services. Furthermore, the Commissioner emphasized the implementation of 450 cameras across the state to enhance security and create a safer environment. Fibrotic Project was a PPP project public-private partnership. And as such, the, in, the, the money that was spent by the government was very minimal. Uh, on the cameras, um, Lagos State has invested uh, quite some funding. I might not be able to give you the actual number now because it's still an ongoing project, right? But when we get to a particular juncture, perhaps I will be able to provide a much more accurate figure. But how not hard will some people just go there and start removing the solar energy? It's operatory. It's, it's a barbaric heart. So we need to let them know that don't forget that these infrastructures are being provided through taxpayers' money be paid by some people and used to bring comfort to the life of Lagosians. We will not stop in our effort to go on advocacy. We will not stop in our efforts to go on sedition program. We will not stop in our effort to do job with local governments. Go to the grassroots and let them know. And let them know that look, if you see anybody that is perpetrating this art, please report such policy to the law enforcement agent.